Okay guys, today we're gonna do an interesting video. We're gonna compare how accurate and consistent are these five kokanee reel line counters. And we're going to test them at 100 feet. So I got 100 feet of tape out right there. I'm gonna lock them into that rod holder. And we're gonna start with the loop right at the base of the line counter uh, where the goes into the line feeder here. And we're gonna take it out 100 feet and we're gonna see is it really close? These are all spooled to capacity with 10 pound monofilament. These are all Maxima Ultra Green except this one is the Trilene Extra Tough which has the pretty much the exact same diameter of 0.014 as the Ultra Green. So as long as the manufacturers are honest about that I don't think that'll be a major impact on the test. Okay so I'm going to do uh, five measurements for each one. I'm going to report the mean the range, that is the ex the extremes, lows, and highs, and then the variance, and that'll just be a good comparison of how consistent it is each time you're deploying and relying on your line counter. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I got this locked into the rod holder. The loop is tied right in here. I got this zeroed out, and the bale open, and I got the clicker on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start walking this out to 100 feet and see what happens and we'll come back and see how far it is i have them at the same height off the ground so there's not an elevation impact okay i put the loop here it's got good tension on it you can see the tension's pretty good it's not slack anywhere along here let's go see what the line counter says okay here's the line counter it's reading about 71.5 so not very accurate. This is spooled to capacity with 10 pound mono. All right, I'm gonna repeat this five more times for the Samira. Fourth test is about 70. And the fifth and final test again is just about 70 and a half. Okay, so that's all for the Tika Samira. I have to say I'm really shocked by two things. One, it's actually a very consistent in terms of its measurement, with the range being only from 70 to 71.5, and the standard deviation is only 0.34, so the bigger this number is, the more uh, variation there is in the numbers, but you can see they're really, really consistent. The problem is here, is it's almost 30 feet off of what it should be. Definitely not accurate, shockingly. All right, let's move on to the Abu Garcia 5500 line counter. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put this into my zip-tied rod holder and log it in. Clicker should be on, I've got the loop right down there at the base. Let's go ahead and zero this out. All right, let's start the test. Okay, so here's our first result with the Abu Garcia far more promising than with the Tika, we're at a little bit past 92. Let's do four more tests. Okay, test two gives us 95 and a half. Test number four is 94. All right, so that wraps up five tests for the Abu Garcia 5500 line counter. I think the ram mounts thing will let it go. This one actually fared a lot better in terms of numbers. We had a range of 92.2 to 95.5. So still fairly tight. The, the standard deviation was only 1.4, so that's still really small. Not as good as the Tika, but the accuracy here is a lot better. So we're shooting for 100. We got a mean of 93.5. So not too shabby in terms of getting you on the mark in terms of accuracy on the line counter. All right, so we're gonna to go to another Abu Garcia and the only digital line counter in today's contest. This is the Max DLC. This one, you actually program in the pound test of line you were using. So this one is programmed in for 10 pound. It is 10 pound Maxima Ultra Green. Let's get started. Okay, so you can see it's set at zero. Got this open, I have the clicker on. So we're gonna run this out there and see how it does. Okay, moment of truth for the Abu Garcia Max DLC. Just look at that, 98 feet, not too bad. Second test, 98 feet. Third test, 99. Fourth test, 
$99. And for the last and final of the five tests for the Abu Garcia Max DLC is $99. Of course, the advantage of having a digital line counter is that you can program in the line diameter, so it's much more flexible than other line counter reels. If you hold down both of the buttons at the same time, and you can change from feet to meters. Obviously, I'm going to keep it in feet. And then you hit the light button here, and then you can change the diameter, 10, 12, 14, 17, 20 pound, 25 pound, 8 pound, and then you just lock it in at 10, like I did before, and it's all good to go just set it and now it's programmed in for 10 pound diameter line okay so what are my thoughts on the abu garcia max dlc uh that it's amazing i have always liked this reel i recommended this reel and now i even want to recommend it more because let's look at the numbers here 98 98 99 99 99 that's very very close to 100 the mean is 98.6 the range is just 98 to 99 the variance is even lower than the tika which was very low to begin with this is essentially almost spot on for measuring outline with 10 pound diameter line all right let's move on to the daiwa alexa right-handed line counter this is my favorite reel of all time i'm really nervous to see what this line counter can do let's see what happens okay alexa line counter loop is right at the line feeder and it is zeroed out and there's yellow jackets because it's late summer they're everywhere let's go okay moment of truth for the daiwa alexa and we're at just a little bit past 95. that's not too bad all right test number two gives us 91. third test also gives us a hair past 91. okay fourth test looks like 91 and a half maybe okay fifth and final again looking at about a little touch over 91. Okay, so what are my thoughts on the Daiwa Alexa 100 line counter? Pretty solid. It uh, had a fairly consistent measurement after the first one. Uh, it was first one was kind of high at 95, and then the rest kind of hovered around 91. It had a range of 91 to 95, a uh, variance of 1.56, so still quite low. And its mean was 91.9, so we're talking 8 foot off from what it should be. Now I'm going to be interested to compare it to the left-hand version of the same one. This is kind of an interesting comparison because I want to see how much consistency there is within manufacturers. Sometimes left and right-hand reels are manufactured in different factories, although not always, and I'm not sure what the case is with this one. But it's also good to see how much consistency there is within the same model. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so you can see this is the left-hand Daiwa Alexa 100 line counter. It's all zeroed out. And... That loop is right at the base. I'm going to do these five really quick and just jump to the final tally sheet and give you my thoughts. Okay, so first stab with the Daiwa Alexa line counter left hand. It's about 95 and a half there. So very similar outcome on the first uh, one as the right hand version. And surprise, surprise, the second one is 91 and a half. Okay, so we're all wrapped up with the Alexa 100 line counter left hand retrieve from Daiwa. And the numbers are pretty similar to the right hand. As you can see, pretty much bouncing between 92 and 95. This one was 91 and 95. Uh, so very similar on the range and the variance or standard deviation. And the mean is 92.4. So again, about eight feet off of what it should be. Okay, so what are my thoughts from this experiment? One is that the Tika Samira is absolute junk and not reliable at all in terms of accuracy. Although, like all of these reels, they were all really consistent. It's not like they jumped around by that much between each measurement. I would say that the Daiwas sort of fell in the middle of the pack. Um, you know, they were both off by about eight feet, but still fairly consistent. The Abu Garcia 5500 line counter was only off by about four or five feet, but it was a little bit more variable. In fact, it had the highest uh, amount of variance or the standard deviation was highest on this one. But then again, we're only talking four or five feet, probably not that big of a difference when it comes to kokanee fishing 
or walleye fishing, but maybe if you're a perfectionist, it might matter. But what's clear to me is that the Abu Garcia Max DLC line counter, the digital line counter, is by far uh, the best uh, line counter in terms of accuracy and repeatability. It basically went from 98 to 99 the whole time. I think just having that programmable line diameter in there makes a huge difference. And it does sort of uh, give me faith in digital line counters. Uh, it does make me think about converting over to the Max DLC, especially when I am using snap weights or long lining, where being extremely accurate really does matter. Um, the Daiwas have always served me well and probably got me close to where I needed to be, but this one's getting me right on the money. That being said, I've had some viewers uh, that I've recommended this reel to say they've had problems with the components inside of the reel breaking. There's a lot of plastic components and they don't hold up to larger fish. But since I primarily use these for walleye and kokanee, I think that's what I'm going to stick with and still recommend is the Max DLC with a fallback as either the Daiwas or the 5500 line counter, which is a little bit bulkier than these two, which is why I like how compact those two are. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this smoky day to run a cool little experiment looking at the accuracy and repeatability of line counter reels for kokanee and for walleye too. All right, if you want to buy any of these reels, please do so in the links below. It really does help out this channel, and I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter, not harder.